so you're continuing the series, so you must be learning something. <laughs> Hopefully this video will be helpful for you guys. Once again, my name is Caleb from Caleb Video Maker 2. And just to kind of give a f uh, reminder of where we left off, we were making this method, and now we're trying to get that data on the client side. We're essentially trying to get the server date time displayed on the client's web page. So this is what we got so far. But this is not enough. We need to convert it into the promise pattern. So to do that, we say dot done, dot fail. And you see that's the same thing I did here. And then for either one of those, we need to assign a function for uh, it to be ran when it succeeds. I think this is called a callback function. It's the function that's ran after we get the data. So what we need to do if it's done, we need to display the data on the page. Very easy, we already have that function from the other video right here. Well, how do we, how do we put the data in there? Well, there's a really interesting way on how to get the data. And this function here can actually take a parameter and we can just name it whatever we want. We'll just put data and then we can write that data to the page. So let's give it a try. Let's run this and see what happens. Ah, oh, sweet, it's working, yeah. <laughs> All right, so what happens if it fails? Uh, well, let's look. Literally nothing. So we need to do the same thing for failing. Now we could just pass in an error in here and just be like, error, whatever. But you can also do this other thing where the, the function will actually take a parameter of the error that is given automatically. So we can just put, give it a name, whatever you want, and then you can display that to the page. So that's kind of how it works. When a method is ran, if, it's, if you get the data successfully, you will get the data. If for any reason the connection between the client and the server is interrupted, you will get an error message and you can access it through the parameter of the callback function of the fail method. Whew, there's lots of words there. <laughs> okay, let's see what this does. Refresh. And you can see it's working. And um, that's cool and all, but we still need to think of how can we test this to see if it fails? Well, there is one way that I have in mind. Essentially what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to create a button. And every single time we press that button, I want the new time to be displayed on the page. And then what we can do is we can shut the server off and then press the button. And there won't be any connection to the server, so we'll be able to see the error when that happens. There's probably a super easier way to do it, but that's all I got for now. So that's what we'll be doing in the next video. So I'll be sure to see you guys then. Bye.